established information proves this policy to be the commonest obstetrical brachial presence injury. It is a condition which was first identified by a very renowned medical doctor by name Wilhelm Ebb, who is believed to have first described this infantile condition time ago. Ebb's palsy affects two in every 1,000 live birth. It is a condition which occurs when an injury happens to the upper nerve roots of the brachial presses, usually C5 to C6 nerve roots. The brachial presses is a group of nerves which provide sensory and motor functions to the human arms. Damage to this particular nerve root causes weakness to the shoulder muscles, making it difficult for the child to use the affected arm properly. S palsy is an obstetrical condition diagnosed more often after delivery. First time parents must constantly observe their baby very well to spot S palsy earlier so that early intervention which may be sought will prevent disability. The most common cause of S palsy is excessive pulling or stretching of the infant's head and shoulders during vaginal birth. For example, if an infant's head and neck are pulled to the side at the same time as the shoulders pass through the birth canal, this can cause a spouse. Various risk factors that predisposes the child to be pulled excessively or stretched will either involve high birth weight, also known as fetal macrosomia, maternal diabetes, use of extraction tools like forceps, forceps during delivery which presentation, second stage labor lasting over an hour, small maternal pelvis, and improper pediatric health care. The most classical presentation likely to be seen is weighted stick. This is seen when your child's arm shows these features. 1. Shoulder internally rotated. 2. Elbow fully extended. 3. Forearm supination. 4. Wrist flexion. 5. Phalangeal flexion and 6. Shoulder adduction. Attempts to oppose any of these positions comes with a resistance. Now the symptoms will involve limited motion in the shoulder, biceps, elbow, forearm, wrist or hand leading to the weighted step presentation. There is also arms hanging by the child's side internally rotated. There is decreased grip strength in the hand, numbness in the arm, partial or total paralysis of the affected arm. There is also impaired circulation, muscular and nerves development. There is also severe pains, mostly during passive stretching. As to the treatment of earth palsy, the treatment may depend on the severity of the nerve injury. The degree of nerve injury will either be neuroplasia, neuroma, neurotomesis, azonomesis, and abortion. Surgery can be done in instances where the nerve injury is severe as in neuromesis and abortion. However, mild injuries such as neuroplasia, neuroma, and an azonomesis will require no surgical intervention. Physiotherapy will be the mainstay of your baby whether or not there is a surgery done. The goal of physiotherapy is geared towards improving muscular strength to enable functional use of the affected arm, facilitation of sensation, improving range of motion of the affected arm, and to improve circulation. To correct the abnormal weighted stick deformity, using various non-invasive techniques after pain is reduced drastically. This will include passive stretching of the affected arm to correct the deformity and to improve range of motion in the arm. Electrical stimulation to revive the weakened nerve to initiate proper conduction and receives proper impulses 
from the brain using tens. The tens also helps reduce his pain. Tactile stimulation using stimulants with different textures, smooth and rough, to improve arm sensation. Constraints induced movement therapy to gradually train active movement in the affected arm, which facilitates functional movement in the arm. Teach proper handling techniques, dressing and undressing the child. This will help to avoid subsequent stretching in the nerve that is torn or stretched already. To avoid worsening the child's condition. End of the presentation. Kindly subscribe to this channel if you are a new member and don't forget to tap on the notification bell. Don't also forget to like this video and don't forget to share. Please remember that every image that you saw in the video which is in the likeness of any personality is not the real representation of that personality.